Hey guys, it's Kelly from fitnessblender.com and today I have a total body strength workout for you for people who get bored easily. So that means that we're not doing a single repeat exercise in this entire routine. I've included both your warm up and your cool down and all you need for this workout is a set of dumbbells. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, we're gonna start off nice and light here, get our body ready to work hard. We're gonna start with the boxer shuffle. So we're just getting our feet moving nice and light. And this workout, we're gonna be starting off with the cardio warm up. We're gonna be doing 25 seconds of each of these warm up exercises without any rest in between. So we're kind of just moving seamlessly from one to the other. And we're gonna be using similar ranges of motion of what we're going to actually be doing in our real routine. So, there's never any harm in doing an extra long warm up. So if you've been sitting for an extra long time, feel free to do a little extra. All right, next up we're gonna be doing an overhead uh, stretch plus a toe touch. So you're gonna reach up high over your head and then come down nice and low, as low as you can. So up overhead and down. So we're just warming up these muscles, getting them ready to work. So these strength supersets are going to be intense enough and short enough breaks that this might end up feeling like a cardio workout as well. All right, next up we're doing a chest stretch out this way plus a toe touch kick. Toe touch kick, there we go. So stretch, really open up that chest and then kick one foot out. Alternate back and forth. And I know it's weird, I always get winded in the cardio warm up because of nerves. So I'm sorry. Hang with me here. Stretch and out. All right, next we're doing lateral pulls. So we're stepping behind ourselves and really squeeze those muscles back. Start really working them already. Working all different kinds of range of motion here. All right, 10 seconds left. And we're gonna switch to a crossover toe touch plus another chest opener. So standing with feet shoulder width apart, we're coming here and across, and then again, opening back up. Come across the other way, opening back up. So only go as far as you can without any pain, especially during this warm up. All right, next we have the only burpee in this whole routine, I promise, and that's slow burpee. So down, out, out, up, up, come up for a toe raise. So we're really just warming up our hamstrings and core a little bit. Make sure you're leading with a different foot each time. Five seconds left, we're gonna to switch to a good morning. So similar to a deadlift range of motion. So right here, keeping your back flat, come down, squeeze your glutes to pull back up. Five seconds, I'm gonna to switch to a basic squat here. So again, feet shoulder width apart. I'm gonna start that motion in your hips, stick your butt up behind you, back nice and flat, squeeze your glutes to bring yourself back up. So most of your weight should be in your heels. It's a good time to find a breathing rhythm. So as you go down, inhale, exhale as you press back up. You never wanna be holding your breath during these exercises. All right, next up we've got the reverse lunge. So again, posture nice and tall, back flat, dropping down in between those two feet, going only as low as you can control. You don't have to move at the same pace as me. This is a time routine, so you can move at whatever pace is comfortable for you. Next up we're doing fly jacks right here, jumping out, arms in front can make this low impact by just stepping side to side. Let's try to start picking up the pace as we go these last couple exercises where the real work begins. Next up we have a butt kicker squat. So three butt kickers. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. So make sure you're leading with a different foot each time. 
Stay nice and light on your feet. Almost done. All right, so that is our warm up. Grab your dumbbells and we'll start into our strength training. All right, so we are going to be doing 45 seconds on, 20 seconds rest between each of these. We're going to be starting off with a reverse lunge plus an alternating close row. So for each of these, I'll tell you what I'm lifting, but what you are going to be lifting is going to be completely dependent on your own strength. So you want a weight that really has your muscles screaming by the last five to 10 seconds of each interval. So I'm gonna be using 12 pounds per hand for this. You stand up nice and tall, feet close together. You're stepping back into a reverse lunge. Pull that arm back up, step up, back to where your feet were, and back with the other foot, and that uh, close row. So you're kind of doing a little bit of narrow squat there. So we're working this whole time. We're gonna be working our butt, our thighs, our core, and our upper body muscles. So you're gonna be exhaling at the hardest part of each of these exercises. Again, make sure that you're not holding your breath at any point. We're doing, only doing each one of these intervals one time, so you have to make it count. That doesn't mean that we're hitting each muscle group once. We're actually going to be hitting each muscle group from a different angle each time in a different way. All right. So next up, we have a squat with an overhead press. I'm going to stay with 12 pounds per hand. Keep an active rest, so be doing at least a boxer shuffle during that 20 second interval. Go ahead and grab your weights. So feet shoulder width apart. Again, starting at the hips, you bend back, squeeze back up, and press up overhead as you do that. Inhale on the way down. Exhale as you press back up. Try to use a nice smooth motion. Again, remember that you do not have to go the same pace as me. There's about 10 seconds left. Pulling your core really nice and tight here. All right, so next up, we have a curtsy lunge curl. I'm gonna stay with the same weight for that. We're doing a curtsy lunge back behind the body and coming up for curl at the same time. Keep those feet moving. All right, so starting from the center, going back and behind your body while you're bringing those dumbbells up for that curl. So make sure that you're keeping your elbows locked in at your sides and that you're not using any swinging motions to complete that range of motion there. Make sure you're keeping your eyes up so you're not rounding your shoulders, especially at the bottom of that lunge. No, it's tempting. See, I'm kind of starting to breathe like it's a cardio routine already. This is my favorite way to strength train right here. All right, next up, we're gonna be doing a swing plus an overhead tricep extension. So I'm gonna switch out for 16 pounds for this one. So again, we're working the glutes, thighs, core, and our upper body muscles here. So I'm going to act like a dumbbell swing, sorry, a kettlebell swing. So you gonna be using your legs to pop that weight up over your head. Your arms aren't really doing anything until we're right here. You're doing a tricep extension, let it drop back down. Pop it back up, tricep extension. So keep your back nice and flat for this one. And like I said, remember that for the swing, your arms are really not doing anything except for holding onto that weight. It's all on your glutes. So pop it up there. About 10 seconds left. Five seconds. Keep it going. All right, so next up we have a forward one plus a curl, reverse leg lift, and an overhead press. So it sounds a lot more complicated than it is. It's 
it's really actually kind of fun. So I'm using 12 pounds per hand. So like I said, forward lunge plus curl. Forward lunge, curl, come up, and as you do, lift that leg up behind you. Draw back down, return your hands to normal, step back. Lunge, and up, down, back to beginning. Squeeze your glutes. This one really works your balance, which makes it awesome for your core. Under 10 seconds left. Whew. That is a tough one. All right, so next up, we're gonna be doing a relatively simple move, and that's deadlift. So really bump up those weights. Get as heavy as you need to and challenge yourself. I've got 24 per hand. Whew. Three seconds left, catch your breath. Here we go. So. Keeping those weights nice and close to your thighs. Back flat and squeeze on your way back up. Really focus on squeezing those glutes. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Mind your core muscles as well. Keep the stomach nice and tight. Make sure you're not rounding your shoulders or letting your weights pull yourself forward. 10 seconds. Keep it going. All right, so one more interval before we get a quick water break. I'm using just four pounds per hand for this one. It's kind of a trickier motion. So we're gonna be doing a side lunge plus a ventral raise. So raising those, uh, arms and weights on front of our bodies as we go for a side lunge. I'm dripping in sweat already. Here we go, out to the side, back to the center, other side. So you're leaning away from that straight leg. Keep your uh, torso as upright as you can while you're leaning forward. Just make sure that you're not, again, rounding forward. Don't ever compensate your posture for an exercise. Ooh, I feel like I'm working out in the rain over here. And this is why I love to work out like this. 10 seconds left. Five seconds. Two, one. Oh my gosh, okay. So that was an awesome start. Uh, wonder if you guys are as sweaty as I am. Okay, take a quick break, grab a drink of water, be right back in just a second. So we have about 12 minutes left of hard work before we get to our cool down and stretch. We also have a burnout round before we get to cool down. So first we're gonna jump in with lateral raises plus calf raises. So I'm using four pounds per hand, sitting up nice and tall, feet about shoulder width apart. And we're gonna go up on our toes, squeeze and raise those weights out to the side. So again, just like with any other strength training exercise, there's no swinging, no momentum. You want to be in control of everything all the movements that you're doing, so very deliberately squeeze, even hold it there on your tiptoes if you got the balance and really let those calf muscles just burn. Get uh, comfortable with the discomfort. Go to your happy place. We've got about 20 seconds left, already halfway done with this interval. Keep it going, five seconds left. All right, next up we're gonna be doing a bent over fly plus a uh, bent over ventral raise. You can add a lunge or a step back into that as well if you like. We're gonna be bending at the waist and bringing those arms out so you should really feel this in your upper back. So bend over, keep your back nice and flat, kind of stick out your butt behind you. We're bringing those arms, again, no momentum, right out to the front here, sorry, out to the sides and then up above your head. 
So again, I'm using four pounds with this one. Go out, out, up, and up. Over halfway. Oh, this gets so heavy so quick. I really struggle with this exercise. That's okay. If you need to, drop the weights completely. If your form starts to suffer, it's always better to do it with no weight than to do it improperly. All right, there's another one down. So next up, we're gonna drop to the ground here. I'm gonna use 20 pounds per hand. We're gonna be doing a chest press plus a bridge. So, go ahead and drop. Remember these rest uh, transitions periods are pretty quick, so don't feel bad if you're a couple seconds behind. You're gonna press up and then up above your head. So you're squeezing your glutes, working your butt, thighs, lower back, and your chest. Bring it right down, right about chest level. Press back up. If you have a bench, you don't necessarily need to do a bridge. Just trying to make it friendly for people at home without a lot of equipment. It's a great way to turn it into a total body workout too. Try not to lock out your elbows at the top. Instead, keep just a slight bend so that you're still working those muscles the whole way. If you lock your elbows out, you turn it into a little bit of a break at the top. All right, next up, we have toe touch leg drop. So I'm gonna be using eight pounds per hand for this one. Sorry, eight pounds total. Make that 12. I'm gonna make it a little bit harder. So we're gonna be doing a pullover over our hands with our feet up in, in the sky here. So down with one leg, then come up to the top and do a crunch. Next, you're gonna drop the opposite leg and then just keep it going like that. Making sure that you're not holding your breath using slow controlled motions. Kind of find your own rhythm. All right, that's it for those. We're staying on the ground. Next up, we're gonna be doing a Russian kick plus a twist. So I'm gonna drop my weights a little and use just eight pounds per hand. Oh, sorry, just one weight. So I'm gonna grab this, hold it right about chest level. So we're gonna be doing a regular Russian twist, but we're going to every third twist extend a leg. So Side, 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 back to the center, kick out a leg. Back to the center, kick a leg. And I know that I'm going to feel this tomorrow. I can tell already, I can feel it in those quads. One, two, three, and extend. Lean back as far as you can control. The further you lean back, the harder it gets, especially with the weight. 10 seconds left, keep it going guys. Three, two, and one, out. Oh my gosh, that burns. Okay, next up we're doing a recline sit up plus an incline press. So I think I will stick with the eight pounds for this one. So you're gonna need two weights. You're gonna set up your feet similar to how we did before. So we're gonna be leaning back just slightly for this one. It's gonna be a really small range of motion, but you're still gonna feel it. So back as far as you can control, come back up nice and tall, press those weights up at kind of an angle, different than we've done so far. Keep your back flat. You might just be able to lean back just a little bit. Just lean back enough until those abs are talking to you. Ten seconds left. Three, 
All right, that's it for those. So next up, we're gonna be doing a chest fly plus a bridge. So this is a different range of motion again. I'm gonna try 16 pounds per hand, even though I feel this is gonna be tough. So I'm gonna be pressing up into that bridge again if you don't have a bench. So squeeze those glutes. So this time we're starting from the top and you're bringing your arms out and then back up. So a slight bend in those elbows, roughly the same place on your chest, about breast level. Take them down as far as you can control and then bring them back up. Try to keep those hips high if you're using that bridge for elevation. Keep it going. We have just one more regular interval left and then we're doing kind of a burnout round. Fit one more rep in there. All right, so next up we're gonna flip over. We're doing a push-up plus a row plus a tricep extension. So we're gonna use just four pounds per hand this time. So you do the hardest version of a push-up you can manage. It might be difficult after this routine here. See what happens. So weight in your hands and toes or knees. Oh yeah, that hurts. Okay, then row and extend. So you have to drop down to a regular push-up because my arms are already shaking like mad. Row and extend. So if you have round weights, you can always do, do your push-up, then grab your weight, bring up and back. And you really only need one if you can pass them back and forth. Try not to lock out the arm. I know it's tempting, it makes it a lot easier. Try not to cheat so that supporting arm, keep a little bit of a bend in there. Make yourself work harder. Pull up and back. Keep your core pulled in nice and tight. All right, so this is our burnout round. So real quick, we're just gonna um, make our muscles work even a little bit more. So we're gonna start off with jump squats. I hope you still like me after this. Um, you can quit at any time or switch to an easier version at any time. This is meant to be a burnout. It's meant to be challenging, so don't get discouraged. So here we go, 45 seconds. So you're jumping up as hard as you can and landing as soft as you can. If you wanna keep it low impact, stay right here. You can also do every other. So one jump squat, one regular squat. Just go as long as you can. Like I said, it's okay to take a break. Just get back into it as soon as you can, over halfway already. Fifteen seconds. Make sure you're coming all the way up right to jump. Jump like you mean it, make it count. Five seconds. Two and one. Oh. Okay, next burnout round is the reverse fly. So we've already done a version of this exercise. Just really burning out those upper back muscles. Oh. Our pull muscles here. All right, so remember, back flat, squeeze, drop them back down. So try not to rush any part of this motion. Your body's going to try to because it's hard. Try not to cheat. Keep it going, that's halfway. Remember, it's okay to drop your weights. You can even do this without any weight at all. It'll still feel hard at this point. You have to do that for 10 seconds. Keep going. Two, one. All right, so our next burnout round is push-ups. So, put those weights out of your way. Oh my gosh. All right, 10 seconds rest left. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Five seconds. All right, here we go. Push-ups, the hardest version you have left. Keep your body in a straight line. Make sure you're not rounding your shoulders. Pulling your core nice and tight. And try not to lock out your elbows at the top. Eight. 
if you need to stop, just stay in a half plank position. Catch your breath and get back into it. Oh man, 15 seconds left. Ouch. Okay, that's it. One more, we have a plank. So we're gonna try to hold this a plank for as long as we can. Remember, you can always modify to make it easier or stop and take that quick break. Deep breath, we got five seconds left. All right, here we go. So forearms and toes. Bring my timer up here so you can see what's going on here. Try to keep your body in a straight line. Don't keep your hips up here. You also don't want them sagging. Make sure you're breathing, pulling your core. That's halfway. 20 seconds left. You can also drop here if you need to. Make it easier, it's better than stopping altogether. As soon as you feel strong enough, pop right back up into those toes. 10 seconds left. Two, one. Oh my gosh. I don't know how many times I've said that just now. Probably a lot. So now we're gonna start our cool down and stretch. So probably breathing pretty hard at this point. So we wanna breathe our, bring our breathing rate down nice and slow here. Gonna swing out those arms. Oh, and catch your breath. Wipe away the sweat so you can see what you're doing. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Do some big shoulder rolls. Forward, really exaggerate it. Come all the way around and go back. Do that a couple more times. All right, next up, we're gonna reach up over our heads. So over, again, really exaggerate that motion. Even get a good finger, narrow, uh, finger and forearm stretch all the way over and then sweep back down. Once we're here, kind of lean to one foot and then the other. You're gonna be feeling the stretch through your lower back as well as your hamstring, uh, hamstrings, the backs of your thighs. All right, let's roll back up. Do that overhead stretch again. Deep breath in. All right, exhale and go for those toes. All right, while you're here, take your hands, clasp them behind your back, and let them fall over your head so you get a really good upper body stretch out of this and maybe a deeper lower body stretch while you're at it. All right, come back up. So we're gonna lean to one side. Get a really good torso stretch here. Now, slowly come back down. Go to the other side. A couple more of those. Deep breathing this entire time. You're calming your breathing. So just like with the warm up, there's never any harm in doing an extra cool down. So if when we're done here, you feel like you want more stretching or you feel like you missed something, feel free to stretch longer. You don't necessarily need, I see a lot of people just killing themselves with um, hour long HIIT workouts and um, you know two hour workouts and stuff like this and you don't need to do that. Really you should be able to just kick your butt in under an hour. I never work out for longer than an hour. All right, so next up, we're gonna take our arms and lean to one side. You're gonna lean away from that leg, get a good inside stretch, take this arm, pull it across your chest so you feel a stretch in your triceps here. Should be feeling your breathing and your heart rate returning to normal. Might still be pretty sweaty, and I am. All right, now we're gonna come over to the other side. Lead this leg straight, pull that arm across. So you're gonna to want to drink a lot of water when we're done with this. We just sweat out a lot of water content and you're going to want to replace it. 
All right, next up we're gonna stretch step forward here. So this time we're stretching our hip flexors, the front of our thighs, lean forward as much as you need to just to feel the stretch here. I'm gonna take our arm and pull it over our head so you feel stretch through this shoulder socket as well as your tricep again. You can kind of lean away from yourself if you like and make it a torso stretch too. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch sides. Move that leg position, grab the opposite arm up over the head. Again, you can lean away from yourself. Stretch out this side too. Alright, so we need to stretch out the front of our thighs, our quads here. So if you need to, hold on to something for balance. Otherwise, pull that leg up to your butt and you should feel the stretch here through the front of your thigh. Stand up nice and tall. Let that side relax. I'm going to do the other side here. Same thing. All right. So let's throw a downward dog in here. You know I love those. I'm going to walk down to your toes. First stretch here, and then kind of just take your time, kind of incrementally walking out until you are out as far as you can with where you're, you want your uh, hips pulled up towards the sky, trying to get your feet on the ground if you can. If not, just pretend like you're trying to and you'll emulate the same stretch, and then try to get your head down in between your shoulders. You can also start walking back and forth a little. Stretch one leg and then the other. Kind of changes the stretch a little bit here. All right, now I'm going to walk down the rest of the way, set down a knee so I can stretch out this calf muscle. So just pretending like you're trying to get your calf down towards the ground should give you a good stretch in the back of your calf here. So right about now, if you have followed through with me, go ahead and switch sides. This should be the part where you're starting to feel your heart rate is back down, you're starting to breathe normal again, and you probably feel pretty good right now. And if you have a lot of trouble getting motivated to work out, when you're really having trouble getting started, think about this feeling. Think about the way you feel once your workout is done, how good you feel, how much like that kind of tired feeling, but somehow you're more energized, you feel less stressed, you feel accomplished, Think about that feeling when you're having trouble getting in your workouts. All right, now we're gonna lay on our back, do a deep glute stretch, so one leg over the other, pull the back of that thigh so you get a good stretch through that leg that is uh, over your straight leg here. All right, switch sides. Let's do a quick full body stretch and then we'll call it. So arms and legs in opposite direction. Kind of inch back and forth from side to side, taking a deep breath. Stretch away from yourself. Exhale. And then completely relax. Alright, let's do that one more time. Deep breath in, pull away from yourself. And when you had enough. Do a nice exhale, and then slowly relax back onto the ground. 
Alright, so you are welcome to stay here as long as you like. You definitely earned it. <laughs> Otherwise, we're all done here. So, make sure, like I said, that you drink lots of water. Uh, you can always do more stretching if you like. Otherwise, make sure that you eat a healthy meal as soon as you can after this. And I would love to know what you thought about this workout. So any feedback, hit me with it. It always helps me build my next routines. Otherwise, thank you for working out with me, and I will see you guys soon. This workout is complete. Good job, guys.